What's up guys, and Divine here, Nick Divine. We're going to do some frame staples. Just another just starting off video. Haven't done one in a while, so it's back to getting in the swing of them. Hopefully you guys are caught up. If you haven't watched my other just starting offs, and you're new to coil building, you should probably just go back and watch them. Because each video before this one is going to help you out getting to the next coil. <clears throat> so, frame staples is a concept brought to us by Squid Dude from Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel himself where he shows how to do these. So you can go check that out. It's the art of vaping. The frame staple is a lot like the staple coil, only you take out a couple of the pieces of ribbon and you put in some round wire as the frames. It vapes much better than it looks. Not that they look bad, but they're not an extremely fancy coil to look at. But when you mix round wire and ribbon wire, to get a frame staple, the vape's pretty magical. So here's a close up. So this right here is six pieces of 0.4 ribbon and 26 gauge frames. So eight wires in all inside, and it's wrapped with some 38 gauge. Or actually, I'm sorry, I think this is 36 gauge. If you look inside the Clapton, you could kind of see the ribbon stacked. And this build right here comes out to just about exactly a .1. Point 0.1 ohms, point 0.10 ohms. So, I'm going to show you how to make these. It's a really good coil to have in the arsenal, considering that about 50% of the coils you're going to do are going to have the frame staple aspect to them. Installed on the Druga by Aug Vape and Vape House. Alright. So let's get started. Okay, so the wires I'm going to be using for this build are 0.5 ribbon, 27 gauge, and 38. All night chrome besides the ribbon. Most frame staples, you want to keep the ribbon canthal just to keep the ohms at a decent level. Um, if you use all night chrome on a build like this, you're going to be definitely below a 0.1. Um, now, the build I just showed you was 0.4 ribbon and 26 frames, and even the Clapton was different. I'm using these because it's the most wire I have right now is 0 0.5, 27, and 38. <clears throat> Plus the 0 0.5 is going to be easier to show you how I am prepping the ribbon. So before I get too, too into starting this, I'm going to show you guys what a uh, ribbon looks like close up. Okay, so here's a piece of ribbon wire close up. <clears throat> this is a 0 0.5 by 0 0.1 ribbon wire. Right now we're looking at the 0.5 side. If we turn it over a bit, there's my needle noses. We'll be looking at the 0.1 side. 
if we turn it over. Back to the point five side. So it's a literally a piece of ribbon, point five by point one. The goal with a staple coil and a frame staple coil is to get this standing up on the point one side. With a frame staple, it's a lot easier than a staple because you have the round wire on either side squeezing it to hold it up as you wrap it. Okay, so now let's get to start to build this. So first we're going to prep our stack of wire. In this video, I want to show you how to do an odd number of ribbon. I've showed you already how I do even numbers of ribbon in the staple build. So I want to show you how I go about it if I want an odd number of ribbon. So I'm going to do 5 pieces of 0.5. 27 gauge frames so 27 on either side of them five pieces and then wrap it with 38 so first I'm gonna get my 0.5 ribbon so just like the staple I'm going to want to fold this ribbon in half to get two pieces so I'm gonna take my ribbon off the spool with my needle noses Alright, I'm going to roll it out to about 16 inches, so there's 12, and I'll go about 6 inches past that. I'm going to give it a little tug to make it straight, and cut. Alright, I'm going to get another piece, give it a little pull. cut and now for my piece that's going to be my number five piece I'm going to get out an eight inch piece pull it with my needle noses give it a little stretch and cut so I got two 16 inch pieces and one eight inch piece Now I'm going to get my 27 gauge, which is going to be my frames, and I'm going to stretch that out the same size as my 16 inch pieces and give it a little more. So I'm actually going to go about 18 inches. Alright, same thing, stretch it to make it straight, get my close cutters. And cut. I'm going to put the 27 gauge aside for now and just get my ribbon. So I'm just going to take the two 16 inch pieces. Actually, before I do this, I'm going to get my little cap, get a little bit of water, pour it into the cap, and rest that here. You can have some hot glue for this build. I'll show you how to use it, but it's not extremely necessary. Hot glue and a lighter, though. Also, what I want to get ready is I want to have a piece of 40 gauge ready. 40, 38, or 36. It doesn't matter which one. I like to use 40 gauge to wrap up my, my stacks. I got a 12 inch piece of 40 gauge here and I'm going to hold that to the side as well. Alright, got my scissors. Let's 
So now I'm going to take the two pieces. I also want my ceramic tweezers. <clears throat> so right now I'm going to get my two pieces of .5 ribbon. I'm going to get them in my hand. Run my fingers down to the end. And I'm going to go to the shortest point or to the point where maybe there's a little wrinkle in the wire or something. Cut it clean. So now I cut that. Now both of my wires are the same size. So now I'm going to run my fingers down again. And now I'm holding both ends in my hands. And I'm going to bring one end to the other end. And hold it all in one hand. Then I'm going to take my fingers from my other hand pull and I'm going to make a temporary loop. It's going to automatically bend on the 0.5 side because it's a bigger side. Alright. You could use 0 0.4, 0 0.3, whatever you want to use for this build. The uh, combinations of wire you could use in a frame staple build is endless really. So I got my point five in a loop. There's the point five side, point one sides. All right. Now I'm going to get the 8 inch piece of ribbon and I'm going to put it in the middle of my loop just like that Then I'm going to close up my loop. <clears throat> it's very important all your ribbons started off straight. I'm going to close in my loop a bit. I'm going to get my ribbon nice and stacked. I could take my ceramic tweezers now. Kind of pinch in here. And I could also kind of pinch in here to make sure they're stacked properly. And now when I got it where I want it and they're all stacked, I'm going to take my 40 gauge or my 38 or my 36 and I'm going to wrap this up pretty tightly as tight as I could do it without ruining anything I'm going to wrap it ten times <clears throat> and then I'm going to cut All right. There you go. All 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this while it's in a good position. Especially if it's if it's an odd number of ribbon, I like to hot glue it. So I'm going to get my hot glue. Just be careful, get my lighter. Heat it up until the hot glue is wet. I'm going to put a little dab on the ribbon on both sides. Then I'm going to reheat the hot glue and it's kind of going to fall inside the ribbon there. Then I'm going to let it cool down. So that hot glue is going to hold me where I want it. It's good to drag your vape and blow it on the hot glue. It makes it dry faster. That's an absolute fact. I learned that from Pro B300. All right. Now I'm going to drag my fingers down the wire. And this is just getting the wires stacked, the ribbons stacked, and starting to meet each other. So I just go down about three times. And then I'm going to get my fingers down here and do the same thing I did earlier and cut it cleanly all the same size. So I should still have about eight inches because I stretched out my wire a little more than I said. So I probably stretched it out about uh, 18 inches instead of 16. I don't mind losing a little bit of wire if the build's going to come out clean. So I'm going to keep running my fingers down two more times and then I'm going to get water on my finger. Just dab it on my finger and run my hand down it again. I'm going to get a little more water and this water is going to hold them ribbon together and make it almost like one piece. It's going to make all them .5 sides stick together. Then I'm going to go down at about an inch, an inch and a quarter. And from my fingers up to the loop, everything's good. Alright, so I know from my index and thumb, my fucked up thumb, <laughs> everything from here to there is good. So I'm going to take 40 gauge. I'm going to wrap five times. Now I got this piece of 40 gauge sticking out about two inches. And then I got the long piece. I'm going to cut the long piece off, but leave that two inches here. Then I'm going to So you see that's stacked all the way up. So now I'm going to take that 40 gauge, I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to drag it all the way down to the end. And as I do that, the stack's going to stay the same behind that 40 gauge, all the way down to the end. Okay, so all the way down at the end here, it's stacked all nice and neat. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that extra two inches of 40 gauge and wrap it around just to tighten this up a bit. Just around five more times. <clears throat> There you go. So you can see my initial five wraps is a little looser, and then the last five wraps is a little tighter. And now I'm going to hot glue this end. Actually, no, I'm going to wait to hot glue it until I get the frames on. All right. <clears throat> so now I'm going to get my... Okay, now I'm going to get my 27 gauge frame. I'm going to grab my 27 gauge just like I grab my ribbon, put both ends in one hand, pull up on this side, and I got a loop here to start off. And then I'm going to grab my ribbon stack, put it inside of the 27 gauge. get one loop over the other and then I'm going to close in the 27 gauge loop so it's almost the same size loop as the ribbon just right over top of it and then after I got it looking like that I'm going to get some more 40 gauge and I'm going to wrap it making sure that my frames stay on the outside of my ribbon once I got it wrapped around five times I could cut the extra pieces of 40 gauge off and it should kinda look like this. So there it is, the frames on either side of the ribbon stack we're looking at the point one side of the ribbon stack and we want that look going all the way down this wire All right. so now I'm gonna run my fingers down again now with the frames on get that wire to meet up with each other 
and then once again I'm going to go up come about an inch and a quarter down and I'm going to do five wraps leave some extra on cut the other side off that's what that wrap looks like and all the way up everything's pretty much in position then I'm going to pinch that drag it all the way down to the end just like before just now with the frames I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna put five more tight wraps into it Cut the extra off. That's what this side looks like. That's the end. So now what I'm going to do is go back down to the loop side I'm gonna get my hot glue or actually I still have a dab of hot glue there so I can just reheat that and it's gonna fall over the 27 gauge and also grab that make sure it doesn't drip on you drag my fingers down make sure everything's nice and tight get my hot glue heat it up now this is going to hold the stack together and it's also kind of going to give a handle for my drill to grab onto some hot glue on there, reheat it up so it gets into all them pieces alright gonna let this dry a bit I'm going to grab it with my ceramic tweezers. I'm going to bend my 127 gauge over. I'm going to bend my other 27 gauge over. I'm going to cut it, leaving on about a half inch, quarter inch. That's going to give something my drill to, carry, to hold on to. And I could cut the ribbon down a bit too. So what I'm left at on this side that's going into my drill 
it's kind of a T to go into my drill. Now down at the other end. So one last thing I like to do is I like to get a piece of ribbon, doesn't matter what size, and just got about four inches of it. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my drill side, and I'm going to come about three quarters down. I'm going to put the ribbon in between my index finger and the stack and I'm going to wrap this around three times then I'm going to take my either my ceramic tweezers or my nylon pliers either way I kind of like the nylon pliers better, but ceramic tweezers work. I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to put one more wrap all the way around. Flatten it again. I'm going to cut off the excess. And what this is going to do is it's going to be a slider, and it's going to hold everything together as I clapped them. So this is going to be my starting point. That's what's going into the drill. And then I'm going to clap them up to this point. That's holding everything tight together. And then as I go, I'm going to pinch that and slide it down. And it's going to hold the next bit of wire I got to clap them. So this is able to slide up and down this wire and hold the stack where it needs to be. So I started off at about a half an inch away from my T. And there's my loop. <clears throat> All right. So now I'm going to get my swivel and I'm going to put the loop inside the swivel, close up my swivel, and you want to make sure that this swivel is grabbing both them loops, both the ribbon and the 27 or 26 gauge, whatever you're using. So it's going to pull tension on both of them. You don't want it pulling tension on just one of them. You either want both. Or figure something else out. But I like having it pulling both. Now I just connect this to my spin LT. Now I just got to get my drill. So I get my drill. <clears throat> I get my stack here. Open up my drill a bit, put my stack inside, and I basically could just push that 26 to my chuck 
and the teeth are going to grab that and it's also going to grab the hot glue so it's basically grabbing it three different parts tighten it down tight. I'm going to spin my drill and make sure everything's moving properly, nothing's twisting. Very important that it's in center with my drill. And now there's nothing left to do but get the 38, attach it to the, uh, to the stack in the beginning. And clapping right over this just like a fuse clapton. So I'm going to get my 38 gauge, I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to wrap it around one of the frames sticking out of my drill. Then I'm just going to spin my drill a bit, just to get it anchored onto the wire a little more. Start off slow, make sure everything make sure everything's going good. And now I'm just gonna move my slider up a little bit and I'm gonna clap in until I almost touch that slider. If you make a mistake, back up. Sorry, it's a little difficult to see with the camera here. Now I could slide my slider down a little bit more. Let me try to get it in the camera. So it's right there. Pull some tension on the wire. Start off slow, get your right angle, your right tension, and pick up the speed. Let me see if I can get a close-up of this happening. So this is what my wire looks like so far. I'm going to take my slider, slide it down about another two to three inches, get the spool in my hand, start off slow, get the right angle, right tension, and then go faster and faster. See, it's a long build, lots of surface area. 
And when the juice gets sucked in there, you get some good flavors out of it. You can see my stack's still good. slider, slider down, tension angle, Come up to my slider again, I'm at the end of the wire, so I'm just going to bring it all the way up to my loop. All right, I could snip my 38 gauge off. I could snip my stack off of my swivel. Make sure you cut off all that hot glue. Cut it off my drill side, make sure you get off all the hot glue. Got a perfect stick of frame staple. Okay, so you kind of seen what it looked like in the close up of me wrapping, but there you see the five pieces of ribbon with the frames on either side and the 38 gauge wrap. Pretty much just looks like this all the way down. This looks like a big fuse clapped in. So let me just wrap this up. Show you how to wrap these coils without any uh, problems. Alright, so you want to wrap these just like you would wrap a staple coil. Um, it's going to be easier, like I said, because you have them two round wire frames kind of squeezing them staples together. It makes it so much easier to wrap these. You're not going to get a wonkiness out of it as long as you follow these steps that I do. So I get my needle noses and I get my wrapping tool. So I got a three millimeter coil master coil jig. Three millimeter, that's usually what I do these frame staples at. It's usually what I do every coil at. Three millimeter inside diameter. Let me just get a vape.
All right, I'm gonna get my roller. Check the measurement on this. It's damn near exactly eight inches. So I'm gonna go at four inches. and cut I'm gonna get one of my sticks grab it with my needle noses leaving about a half inch below the needle noses I'm gonna grab my coil jig put it over top of the needle noses Put my index finger here and push over. I'm holding good tension on the needle noses, just like a vise. Bring it back and pull over the top. Just push it down and let it fall. Bring it back and pull up. Push it down, let it fall. Bring it back, pull. Up. Push it down, let it fall. It's all about giving the wire support as it wraps. And I'm going to do five wraps here because that would be around a point one with this combination of wire as you can see it's kinda got like a roundish profile And these things vape amazing. It's it's most likely my favorite vape. I like putting alien wraps on it, but that's for another day. If you ask people what their favorite vape is and they vape almost every coil, they're going to tell you alien coils and frame staples. And they're going to tell you frame staples for flavor. Let's get the other one. Looking good. All right. All right, guys. That's about it for the frame staple. Um, like I said, there's so many different combinations you can make. Um, some of my favorites are like eight pieces of .4 Canthal and two pieces of 28 gauge with like a 36 gauge wrap or a 36 gauge alien wrap um, six pieces of point four and 26 frames is really good you could put some stainless steel frames in there it might come out a little bit lower than point one but it's still a great vape and if you practice safety you'll be all right and I mean this is definitely a coil that when you learn this it opens up so many other things so many other coils have a frame staple interior, like a, a Suka coil most of the time is frame staple. 
a um, Enigma is a frame stable inside. Just so many. Lots of hybrids are frame stable inside. Just so many coils need this frame staple inside of it to make it the width without having a very low ohm and plus it just is a great vape so once again this concepts by squid dude um, when I started to learn this coil it was my favorite um, and plus it made me learn the staple coil a lot easier because I learned how to wrap these first and then I kind of understood how the ribbon should feel when it wrapped over. So um, even though I did the staple co coil tutorial first, this may be easier for you to start off with. So give it a try. Um, until the next live video, that's all I got for now. I'm going to try to get more of these uh, building tutorials out, but as I'm thinking about it, like as we go down the line, this is no more beginner's coils. I have a beginner coil tutorial section in my YouTube, so if you go over to, um, to video, like, um, what are they called? playlists I have playlists and they say beginner coils but after this if you get any more intricate I, you can't call it a beginner so I mean after the frame staple you're getting into pretty intricate stuff um, I'm not sure what the next coil is going to be with the tutorial it could be the Suka coil it could be the staple stagger fuse clapped and I'm just not sure but I'm definitely going to try to get it out within the next week um, other than that, at this moment, it is it is September of 2017. It's in the beginning of the month, and there's a giveaway going on. So to get entered into the giveaway, go over to the mask video, watch the beginning of the video, and I tell you how to start off getting entered into it. And then I tell you how to go on from there to... Uh, maybe get entered in a second time but uh... thanks guys it's been fun everything uh... on the youtube's up much appreciate it um, i'm getting a lot of good feedback and you know just hit the like button make sure you subscribe share if you ever see anybody asking any questions and you know that i've answered these questions point them over to the channel um, I'm gonna try to keep going and like I said before I'm gonna try to have a video out for just about every every coil there is I'd like to have a video and not just a live video I'd like to do these tutorials in HD so you guys could see them close up and see exactly how you do everything so thanks and uh, I should have this video up soon peace